Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are taking a look at five of the most broken and or overpowered weapons and loadouts that we've got currently in Warzone. And these are, you know, incredibly ridiculous for a handful of different reasons sometimes it's because they have a crazy fast ttk others it's because certain stats on them just go absolutely nuts all of them though are extremely extremely effective in their own specific way and we're starting first with an incredibly fun one in my opinion this is the ram 9 which we already know is a top tier smg but this is the tax stance version of this where you're obviously in that hybrid ads and hip fire mode and this thing's mobility and ability to just absolutely finesse in the close range is insane obviously tax stance is a close range exclusive option i mean you can try and use it at 30 40 50 meters you're just never going to hit a bullet or you know actually take somebody out but for close range your ability to strafe with this thing but also be really accurate because the build we have here is just nuts so really we're just going all in on our tax stance spread here so first up the bruin bastion angle the underbarrel is so good for this we're getting a 25 percent increase to that i also go for the grimline laser this offers an eight percent increase across the board there are are some other good lasers that are going to help out as well but this also helps with the sprint of fire which is nice and convenient there 50 run cinemag obviously when you are tax stance you'll never be 100 accurate so having that extra safety net of that cinemag is obviously going to be very clutch there we've got the haste rear grip this is again going to help out with that tax stance spread and then motion tack pad stock does even more of the same and when we go ahead and jump into the uh firing range here obviously we go through we flip into tax stance mode and you can see i mean this thing is just an absolute laser beam even in the mid range dummy that's pretty crazy i want to try just on the long range for my own sanity okay yeah so see i figured it wouldn't be that accurate long range it's not applicable with this but obviously close range i mean look at the speed that you're able to strafe long with this thing is pretty nuts and obviously you got all the ammo in the world so players aren't going to be expecting you to be moving at basically the same speed as you would if you're just generally strafing in a gunfight that's going to throw off their aim and you're going to be able to finesse obviously like i said close range and just fry them so this is definitely a broken tax stance build if there ever was one now another smg that's ridiculously good right now is actually the amr9 built to be an assault rifle and we've actually talked about this one before in a previous overpowered loadout video quite frankly i'm surprised this hasn't been adjusted because as it stands the am mr9 is by far the best smg when you get out into the mid-range area its ttk is so much faster than everything else in that range but this is also outgunning other mid-range options some lmgs some rifles but it's got the mobility somewhat of an smg still we're obviously focused on making this more lethal at range which does hurt our mobility some but for sniper support or just for like an ar smg hybrid build this is by far the best choice in the game so first up here i do like using the integrated suppressor keeps me off the radar but it also extends that velocity in that range out a decent amount there just makes it more lethal and more effective in that mid-range area i do go for the bruin heavy support here helps make the gun more predictable with the horizontal recoil and gun kick benefits but also gives you better sway and firing aim stability and just makes it a lot more accurate in the mid-range there we do hurt our control in some cases here and when you're firing an smg out at ranges you're going to notice it's got some bounce so obviously that's going to help out some i do go for the high grain rounds here which say they're 556 like rifle ammo on the smg to begin with again helping out with that range and that velocity the 50 runic cinemag if you wanted to jump all the way up to 100 on this build i mean you absolutely could you're going to be even slower than you already are but i'd say it's a viable option for sure i feel like 50 is pretty sufficient in most cases but it just depends on what you're looking for there then lastly i go for the glassless optic again but getting better uh firing aim stability there that's pretty clutch and it's a clean blue dot here you can see like when we go into the firing range it's going to be relatively easy to use across the board and it's actually got an ability to take out dummies at a pretty significant range Range. pretty easy to control even when you're firing there's not much visual bounce there you're going to be accurate and it's still capable of holding its own in those close range fights if you got your sights up and someone's pushing you in five meters 10 meters it's still going to fry them there because the amr has got the best ttk in the close range too so this thing's versatility is off the charts and by the way as we're going through all the setups here today if you are new to the channel every single day this is your one-stop shop for all things going on in call of duty news updates patch notes meta breakdowns you'll find it right here so feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of that and if you enjoy the video do me a favor and drop a like on it it's always really appreciated now next up here is another weapon that we've just talked about recently but in terms of just its comparison to everything else that's capable of reaching these distances the mcw 6.8 hit scan build is absolutely just insane 
this thing's velocity numbers are like none other and that's what's broken about this it is essentially a hit scan marksman rifle that you can fight with at 20 meters and it'll knock players incredibly quickly because it's got insane damage or knock players at 100 meters because so long as your optic is centered on them you press the trigger it's going to hit them almost instantaneously with this velocity nothing else really is achieving these numbers so we're going all in on that initially a couple of standard attachments 2.5 times eagle eye optic works great for long range so i'm going to be pinpoint accurate at any distance so i can easily tap and immediately hit the shots uh 60 round drum as well this one's been a bit glitchy as of late where you put on a 60 round drum on your mcw 6.8 then you load in and sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not hopefully by the time this video is up that'll be sorted i'm not sure though since obviously this video is going up in the future because time uh anyways outside of that i also go for these spire point rounds these are the crazy like broken elements of this giving you a 49 percent increase to velocity i can't imagine they fully intend this to be the case like this has to be broken literally like so fully living up to the name here this bumps us up 49 percent then we go ahead and we stack the crown 30 barrel on there that bumps us up another 21 percent then we stack spirit fire suppressor on there that gives us another eight percent so we're up over 1800 velocity there is not a fight you can take in this game where you press the trigger and the bullet doesn't feel like it instantly hits them with this gun and then on top of that just the mcw 6.8 has a crazy ttk when you're hitting shots to begin with as is especially over range so if you're accurate with this thing very very few options are going to be able to outgun you i mean you could even see there is literally zero delay that's only you know not an extreme distance for the third dummy but there is zero delay in this bullet going all the way out there it's a bummer in the firing range we can't see out to extreme distances otherwise it'd be much easier to actually you know replicate and show just how crazy the velocity is but we covered this in a full video a few days back so feel free to go check that out if you're interested now the sva specifically in one uh way here is another weapon that i would consider to be busted in uh, a way that i probably would imagine is going to get fixed over time especially because as of lately there's been a lot more conversation about it and more uh things sort of highlighting the fact that it probably shouldn't function like it does but that's the sva 545 in hyperburst slash semi-auto mode the standard sva is a very competitive rifle it's really good in a lot of ways it's just really reliable and easy to use but it's nothing that crazy right like there are better rifles and there are worse rifles in hyperburst though in the semi-auto mode this thing has still a super competitive ttk just zero recoil whatsoever so the setup here is going to be very standard we got the 2.5 times eagle eye optic we've got the 60 round extendamag even though we're using this in semi-auto mode i am still using the bruin heavy support just because this is going to help out with the uh aiming idle sway and the firing aim stability meaning that it's going to be extremely extremely accurate throughout on top of the fact that it has basically zero recoil as mentioned the precision barrel extending that range and velocity some the control benefits here don't really matter all that much and then again with the spirit fire suppressor extending that range and velocity some the control benefits don't really matter all that much but we go through and like i said standard sva it's not bad like this thing in fully auto mode it's decent it's easy to use you can use this at really any range and it's going to be consistent but you throw this in the semi-auto mode and you start spamming it and you can see as fast as i'm clicking it here there is basically no recoil all those shots are hitting the same spot so if you can spam a trigger fast you're gonna be able to use this thing and as long as your sights are again on a target it's going to absolutely decimate them because there's no recoil you have to make up for it's absolutely nuts like i can't imagine again this is intended and i would expect in the future they add some recoil to this but the hyperburst feature and no recoil this thing can be extremely broken in the right hands hey everyone real quick wanted to take a second and highlight gamer advantage of course in every single video you guys see me rocking my horizon frames and even when i'm not recording videos these are on all day every day i've said it before i'll say it again these are by far the most important part of my day-to-day -day setup and the reason for that is that these allow me to be the most efficient i can be every single day wearing them i'm getting reduced headaches reduced eye strain and best of all i'm sleeping better at night so i can wake up feeling nice and refreshed every single day to get back on that grind to make content for y'all so if you're looking at screens for long periods of time whether it be playing games doing work doing school whatever the case is do yourself a favor, get a pair of Gamer Advantage glasses. They offer prescription and regular lenses, a bunch of different frames and colorways, a little bit of something for everyone. And if you do want to pick up a pair, throw in code IMMORTAL at checkout, and it'll get you a nice little discount. The link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested. And then lastly, here we have what is by far the goofiest class setup yet, but it's actually extremely, extremely effective. 
just only in the close range, like the very close range. It's the Holger 556 conversion kit that dropped not too long ago that makes it shoot two bullets at once. However, basically what's happening with the bullets here is as you shoot them and you get out to further distances, it's like a flying V formation. It's shooting two bullets side by side. So it shoots two, 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 but it starts to spread out more as you get to further distances. So by the time you're at 15, 20 meters, it's not gonna be as accurate. You could be missing uh, one shoulder and hitting the other, and then you get further and further out, it's only gonna be hitting one bullet at a time, which is just not as effective. But in the close range where the targets are much bigger, the bullet spread doesn't impact that. And you're actually just hitting two shots to the chest or two shots to the uh, upper torso, whatever the case may be. So obviously first up here, we've got the Jack Backsaw kit. Two bullets per shot gives us better uh, magazine capacity, better sprint to fire and whatnot. I go for the intruder grip. It helps out with the strafe speed and the ADS speed. Just makes it a little bit more aggressive. You'll see putting on this conversion kit makes it so that you can't use a barrel. You can't use a muzzle. You can't use an under barrel. You can't use a magazine. So you don't get many options here. I go for the assault stock. Just adds in some recoil control. Doesn't hurt the ADS speed all that much. I also go for the glassless optic. Again, very clean for the close range. And then the Verdant hook box laser helps out with the sprint to fire some the hip fire and the attack stance a little bit you could also go for something like the razor hawk which is going to help out with ads and sprint to fire that'd be a viable option too just depends on what you're wanting out of your laser sight itself but you can see that when we start to shoot here we'll go against the wall and you can kind of see the spread a little bit better i'll go through and i'll actually zoom in on the video so you guys can see it's one bullet to the left one bullet to the right and so that means close range i'm going to be just fine but then over range the accuracy gets a little bit more iffy. You can see like my dots on that, uh, you know, dummy in the back and we'll wait for it to pop back up again, but I'm not necessarily hitting both shots. You can see it was on a dead there, but it went to each side of it. Again, that one hit one shot of it. So it's really awkward at ranges, but close range, this thing's actually incredibly, incredibly good and will kill very quickly. You just have to really limit yourself to the fights you're getting in with it. Otherwise, you're just gonna blatantly miss shots. But that being said, those are five of the most overpowered slash broken in some way, shape or form weapons that we've got in Warzone right now. That's going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It's always really appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you later. Peace out.